Stay sprung, and I'm back with another in-depth overview of the Citizens Blue Angel World Chronograph, the AT820-03L EcoDrive. I've seen videos and reviews on this model, but I have yet to see someone cover all the features, not just the ones they are fond of or use. So today, this is what I'm out to accomplish. I will start by saying this piece is an atomic timer, meaning the watch automatically synchronizes itself to one of 26 time zones or cities, which are displayed in the riot of the inner dial. The watch is also driven by Citizen's EcoDrive system, meaning there is no battery to be replaced, yet a cell pack that needs to be recharged by artificial and or natural light. With these two astonishingly amazing features, the time, day, date, month, and daylight saving times are all automatically set and updated at 2 a.m. every morning. And with the use of a fully charged cell, the watch's power reserve is a mind-bending 183 days. Or with the power save feature active, the reserve becomes 305 days. The Blue Angel is a chronograph with three subdials. Up top is the 60 minute timer, and below on the bottom is the seconds timer recorded at 1 20th of a second. And on the dial to the left is the 24 hour hand. On the minute subdial, located to the left, is the power reserve level. To the right of this subdial is the daylight savings indicator. Located just to the left of the hour dial rests the reception indicator, which will tell the user if a signal was received the night before. And to the right of the subdial is the day of the week indicator. And of course, being a perpetual calendar, the date is displayed at the 3 o'clock position. The chrono is 43 millimeters across the dial and 12 millimeters thick. The lug width is 23 millimeters, which I believe is just as weird and quirky as the band and bracelet options for this piece. The dial is ion plated blue with a flat sapphire crystal, which is a big plus, and a 200 meter water resistance. In typical chrono fashion, there is a push-pull crown and two pushers located at 2 and 4 o'clock positions, plus a slide rule crown at the 8 o'clock position. To enter chronograph mode, engage the B pusher located at 2 o'clock. To engage the chronograph, use the B pusher again. To stop the chronograph, push B again and push again to re-engage the timer for the same measurement. If you stop the chronograph at the current display time, it will remain for 3 hours. Then it will automatically reset. To manually reset, press pusher A located at 4 o'clock. Pressing pusher A again will exit the chrono mode and display indicated time. To display the time zone, power reserve, RX reception, and daylight savings time, engage pusher A while in normal mode. The seconds hand will point to the set time zone, the top subdial will indicate the power reserve's level, and the lower subdial will indicate if a signal was received or not. Now here's where things get even more interesting. When changing time zones on this watch, it is as simple as pulling out the crown one click and rotating the crown to the correct time zone. The chrono begins to do a beautiful ballet and the time is set. Then the date begins to adjust accordingly. When traveling between time zones, this little feature is worth every penny. With all the complications and its accuracy, this piece had me completely break and ignore my only automatic watch rule. Not to mention the power reserve, and I definitely get tired of resetting the time on watches I don't wear too often. And even the ones I do must be reset due to the number of days in the month alternating. The complications are a lot to take in all at once, but I love the fact that all the information is on one place and not hard to read. Now, I don't particularly care for the 24-hour subdial. A GMT would be much preferred, and quartz watches definitely are not my cup of tea. But with all this functionality, plus the added bonus of never having to wind or sync the piece, and even the ability to change time zones with a quick flick of the crown is a nice touch. In my opinion, the only faults are the poor quality band and bracelet options for this watch. With a nylon inner and more woven nylon inside of the suede strap itself, this makes the band even more rigid. And on top of that, the even more awkward band width makes it difficult to replace the stiff band. Other than these two minor issues, I believe this watch to be a super low or no maintenance piece. For it can set itself, has a perpetual calendar, and will synchronize itself to different time zones. So to say the least, with all its functions, this is one badass watch, quartz or not. If you enjoyed the content, hit the like button and jump down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on the piece. And as always, please subscribe. And oh yeah, stay sprung.